Greetings. This presentation will be about utilization of the rate of performance to estimate budgeting and scheduling overruns in a project. In this presentation, the critical path of activities within a project will be determined. The planned and actual durations of this project will then be visualized in a Gantt chart. Finally, the rate of performance will be calculated and then used to revise the estimate of a project end date or duration and to determine the budget overrun. Looking at data for a patient satisfaction survey project, we can see the individual activities required here, as well as any required predecessors, the planned durations, actual durations for activities that have been completed, and the planned expenditures for each. Of the completed activities, which are A through C, only A and B are on the critical path, because as you can see, they are linked. These activities cannot be delayed without making the overall duration longer. When inputted, Microsoft Project can identify activities on the critical path as well. Of the entire project, Microsoft Project determines that Activity C and Activity G are both not on the critical path. Here is a Gantt chart that visually depicts some of the data from the previous slide. The gray bars are the baseline plan durations for each activity. The first three tasks have been completed and are shown as blue bars. As you can see, Activity A and B took much longer than planned and subsequently pushed all the remaining activities past the planned completion date estimates, which is why they are all way past the baseline bars. Critical path activities are indicated in red. Changing the duration of these activities changes the duration of the project as a whole. You can see that Activity G is a blue bar since it is not on the critical path. Activity A and B were initially on the critical path but are now shown as blue bars only because they have been completed. The calendar was modified as instructed for this scenario so that work was done all 7 days per week, or 56 hours per week, and all 30 days per month. This being the case, if the project began on January 1, 2008, it is anticipated to finish on April 14, 2008, after having to push back the plan from the longer than expected duration of the initial tasks. Duration of the overall project after initial delays are factored in is planned to be 105 days. The rate of performance is calculated by dividing the actual work duration by the planned work duration. Only activities on the critical path will be considered. As you can recall, of the completed activities, only A and B were on the critical path. Activities A and B actually took four and two weeks respectively for a total of six weeks, but they were planned to take two and one week respectively, or three weeks. Therefore, six divided by three indicates a rate of performance of two, or expressed as a percentage by multiplying by 100 for a figure of 200%. To determine the schedule overrun based on the rate of performance of completed tasks, we first determine the planned duration of the project. This is done by summing the planned duration of each of the activities of the project that are on the critical path, which you can see on the first line. As you can recall, since activities C and G are not on the critical path, they are omitted from this calculation. The planned duration was thus 12 weeks. The estimated project end or duration can be determined by multiplying the planned duration by the rate of performance, which was determined in the previous slide. This comes out to be 12 weeks times 2 for a total of 24 weeks. The anticipated delay can then be determined by subtracting the planned duration from the newly estimated project duration, which is thus 24 minus 12 which equals an anticipated delay of 12 weeks. Recall that the project was estimated to be 105 days in duration. Considering 7-day work weeks, a 12-week delay multiplied by 7 days a week indicates a delay of 84 days. Adding 84 to the 105-day initial estimate means that the new estimate is 189 days. Calculating the budget overrun requires data for the actual budget for each of the activities. Although we were initially given the planned expenditures for each activity, we were not given the actual budget for activities that have been completed. Therefore, it will not be possible to determine an exact figure for budget overrun. However, keeping in mind that the rate of performance was 200% and the project is therefore expected to take twice as long, it is quite likely that the project will be over the planned budget estimate. We just cannot estimate by exactly how much it will be over the budget. 
After completing this assignment, I learned how extremely useful it is for project managers to compare their initial project plan estimates with what actually occurs. This allows them to anticipate potential delays in scheduling and budgeting so that they can make the necessary adjustments and decisions ahead of time to minimize risk and ensure the best possible outcomes for their projects.